Okay, so here's my uh, smartphone telescope adapter. Um, I made it myself. I found some uh, instructions online on popular mechanics. Um, you can see more or less the mechanism. And what I've done now is I've attached it to my Barlow lens. And you can see I have a 6.4 millimeter um, uh, plossal eyepiece attached to the Barlow, which that eyepiece is really short. All my astrophotography, I was doing them with this eyepiece, which is huge. So um, I figured out a way to use high power eyepieces by attaching the phone to the uh, Barlow. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like installed on the telescope. Hopefully um, that gap I have in between the Barlow and the phone is enough for the eye relief. So I'm going to test that on the telescope. So let's see what happens. Okay, so now I'm going to adjust the um, assembly until I get an image on the iPhone screen. I'm going to open the door here. This app is called ProCam, and it's awesome for astrophotography. Right. Looks like I'm a little far away from the good eye relief. That's a bit better. Okay. Good morning. Looks like that's enough. Okay, so it looks like I got a decent enough image here. And now I'm going to leave the phone on the telescope until it's time to take it out. Now when you do that, be sure to set the vibrator to off. Uh, you know, because all that vibration, if somebody calls you, it's going to, I don't know what it's going to do to the optics. But uh, it's probably not good. So uh, remember to do that. And if you need to talk to somebody, just, you know, Put the speaker on and talk with them on the telescope. Should work all right. So in about a few hours I'll take it out and uh, I'll keep filming to see. I'm going to try and get some images of Mars tonight. We'll see how that works.